All right, this is a wrestling doctor, Howley, for Pro Wrestling Extra. I'm sitting here now with Santana Garrett, the number one woman in USWA wrestling and the number one woman in a lot of people's hearts. So, Santana, yes. thank you for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me. You know, well, it's my pleasure. Trust me. <laughs> Let me uh, bring up the first thing that I want to talk about okay. is <clears throat> your dad is TNT Kenny G. So, you grew up in a wrestling household. I did. Although, I, okay, I have five little brothers, two sisters. I'm pretty much one of the only ones in my family that actually took a liking to wrestling. So, um, growing up, wrestling was a way for me and my dad to, you know, be close and have a bond. And uh, I'm a daddy's little girl, tough girl. You are. You're tough in the ring, too. You know, that's Thank apparent. You. You know, their work. I work uh, hard. Of course, you got started with your dad. Did he actually work with you in the ring to, to train you? Uh, I remember being in middle school, and um, my, my dad is a promoter. He's a wrestler. He's a promoter. He had his own ring. Um, at one point, we had a ring set up in my grandpa's backyard. Um, country. I'm from Ocala, Bellevue. Um, and I remember all the guys would be out there training, bumping. Um, wrestling around and I'm like dad I want to I want to try that and so I'd get in there I had bumps down pat I was doing these crazy moves and uh, yeah I loved it I, I've, I've always been a huge fan and I, I love wrestling well that's apparent too so how did you make it to Team Vision Dojo okay well did the whole wrestling thing in middle school where I was a huge fan and I, you know, I'd get in there and mess around. Um, then I did cheerleading, you know, cheerleading was a cool thing and wrestling was not for a little while. Put that on the back burner. And um, actually after high school, I uh, was given the opportunity to go to school and have it paid for by my dad out in St. Louis. He started running out in St. Louis again and uh, there was a wrestling school actually right down the road, Dynamo Pro Wrestling. Um, Started there between working two full-time jobs and going to school. Had very little time to actually train, but I still made it there, you know, once a week. Uh, trained there for a couple months and um, decided that I'm done with school. This St. Louis just wasn't home. I'm not a city girl whatsoever. I'm country girl. So decided to move back home to Bellevue, Florida, and um, got here. Got booked on a couple shows and um, met some people. Um, these people, whenever they uh, met me, they're like, oh, cool, nice girl. And then I found out who my dad was, who used to wrestle on the indie scene all over Florida. And a lot of these guys have worked for my dad. And um, they'd be like, there is absolutely no way that's TNT Kenny G's daughter. He's crazy. <laughs> I, you know, I've got, I've got some of the better things from him, but um, I'm definitely not as crazy as he is whatsoever. So a lot of people found it hard to believe. Um, now some people might differ with you on that. That's because, true. Because <laughs> for you to get into the wrestling business, Oh, yeah, right, right. You know, how was it in high school when you were interested in wrestling and all the other cheerleaders were not interested at all? Oh my gosh, it was like, uh, they, they, were, they were scared of me because I'm like, yeah, I wrestle. Um, yeah, I, I go and train with the boys. I'm, I'm a wrestler. I'm training. Really, I mean, you know, everyone thought I'd go in there, take a bump, whatever. Um, so they were scared of me. But I came from a very diverse school, and uh, I was friends with everybody. Uh, believe it or not, I'm a friendly girl. Um, yes, I was in I, I was in art class, so I, I had all like the like weirdo weirdo artsy people friends with, and I was on the cheerleading squad, so. Friends with all the popular sassy cheerleaders, and I was friends with everyone. And everybody was really supportive of the wrestling um, back then, but a lot of the girls were scared of me. Okay, so you made it to Team Vision. Yes. Oh my gosh. I thought you. Sorry, sorry. I'm <laughs> I know. Sorry. I'm the worst yeah. at that. Um, so moved back to Florida, and I was actually at a show in South Florida. Um, a lot of the guys knew my dad, and um, I met Chase and Rance. And um, he's like, oh, I used to, I used to wrestle for your dad. I used to wrestle. One of my first matches was with your dad, or one of the, my first matches was at your dad. I don't remember. But anyway, my dad took him in, gave him a place to train, gave him a promotion to work for, and so he did that for me as a favor to my dad or as payback. He took me in. He um, let me train at a school. 
He let me work his um, wrestling events, and um, yeah, I've been there for over two years now, and Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Yeah, Monday, you train, uh -huh. and, and let me ask you a question. When you were training, was there other girls there? Who did you train with? I trained with all guys. I mean, there are girls that come in last a week or last a month, and then they're out of there. It's not for everybody, and this 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 is not an easy this is not an easy sport. It it hurts, especially in the beginning. Your your body is not used to taking that abuse. Um, so I mean, girls have come in, girls have come out. Um, mostly guys. I, I train with mostly guys. Um, every once in a while, some of the girls will come down. Um, Christina Moniuri uh, worked with her for a little bit. Um, other than that, all boys. Do you feel like that helped you in the business to start working the men and now you're working women? Did it? Did you feel like that helped you or do you feel like it, that was just the way you trained? Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like it, it helped me. Um, in the beginning, a lot of the, some of the guys were scared to work with me. I don't know if it's just because I'm a girl. Um, I don't know, but a lot of the other students were, were scared to train with me and they, they wouldn't treat me like a a wrestler they were just treating me like a girl and then on the other hand there were there were there were guys that were like I don't care you're you're here to train you're a wrestler I'm laying my stuff in you That's know? the way it should be you yeah exactly yeah all right let me ask you one of the questions I always ask people is okay. your style you uh -huh. know, you've developed a style do you pattern a style or do you blend styles you mean, what what are you I mean, doing I I would say I, I, I blend styles, um, although I, I do a lot of flashier things because I have an athletic background of cheerleader, dance, baton. I hate baton. <laughs> you don't use batons um, much in wrestling. Flag football. That was my sport. I love football. Um, I have an athletic background, so I do a lot of the, the you know, like the high flying. Um, but I'm, I, I've got a good mix. But tell me some of the girls that you've worked that have impressed you, that you enjoy working with, did take you to the room. You know, I I worked some really really good women. Um, one of my first matches was with um, Mischief. She's amazing. Um, I think it was my second match. I was so nervous, and um, she took me in, and she was just like, mm, "It's okay." And um, I mean, she from the very beginning, she's been nothing but good to me, and has taken really good care of me, and. Um, she's been by far one of, in my opinion, the best women that I've wrestled. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I, I wrestled um, Sarah Del Rey a few months ago for Evolve. Um, I worked Rain, who had a run in TNA. Uh, Becky Bayless, Cookie, <laughs> um, Betsy Root, Jillian Hall. I was her first match after she got released from WWE. Um, and then, I mean, Christina Bonieri also, um, really enjoy working her. She's complete opposite of me, but I absolutely love her. Um, Leva Bates is, she's one of the other girls in the independent scene here in Florida. Well, I know tonight, yes. <clears throat> we had some really good shows, really good match tonight. Mm -hmm. And a couple of guys came to me backstage and said, well, how did you think our match went? And I said, how did it feel? Uh -huh. And they said, it felt great. He said, then you already know the answer to that question. Yeah. And I know you feel the same way. You can feel it when you have a good match. Oh, yeah. See, that's why I was asking, and you mentioned mischief, and she has kind of taken you under her wing uh -huh. a little bit and protected you. And you had mentioned earlier about paybacks, and that's very important in wrestling. Your dad knew that. Mm -hmm. And that is you give back to the business. Mm -hmm. And um, what the women wrestlers are doing in the independent scene now mm -hmm. is really showing that they can wrestle. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's important. Sometimes at the bigger shows at, at the top, they're not allowed to wrestle. Exactly. So you're able to get in there and show what you can do. Mm -hmm. and, and I mentioned to you that the, the <coughs> women today are opening the doors for these younger girls that are going to see you wrestle Absolutely. and not just be a model. Right. And they will be encouraged to wrestle. So you are, you are paying back You know now. what I love? When, when I come out and you know in front of a crowd that I've never worked in front of before, and they're like, oh wow, she's pretty. And then I get in there, and then I can put on a good match, and can really hit hard, take punches, 
and show people that I'm, I'm a tough girl. I'm a tough cookie. And uh, that's one of the most rewarding things. It about, is. About Those this. little girls tonight, I was standing out there watching, uh -huh. and they're watching, they're seeing all the guys working, and you come out, and they realize, I got a chance to do that. Uh -huh. Not just my brother, but uh -huh. me. So, yeah. you, know, you know, thank you for doing this for the business. It means I something. I have goosebumps. I do too. You know, uh, let me ask you. Let me. You had a tryout with TNA, and you actually worked, and you were a valet with Orlando have, Jordan. Mm -hmm. So you were a valet. Yes, I, I didn't have a tryout. A spot opened up. They needed a cute girl, and at this point, I had I hadn't even started training at Team Vision Dojo in Orlando. I literally had just moved back to Florida, um, and uh, actually, Chasen called me, and he's like, "Hey, spot on TNA. You want to you want to do it?" And I'm like, uh, yeah, hello. And uh, so, yeah, I, I get there and it's like, okay, you are Orlando Jordan's girlfriend. Oh, okay. And he is bisexual. Oh, okay, cool. And um, so that was definitely a huge opportunity for me, especially being so new to the business. Um, yeah, I've been around it forever, but I had just recently started training at that You got your face out there. Exactly. That's Some negative, you know, feedback, but... And your face was out there. Exactly. That's what counts. All right, let me ask you something. Uh -huh. I'm going to throw a little, a little twist in there. Oh, gosh. Thing. Um, <laughs> we're going to talk about your weakness, you know. Okay. And I know all about your weakness. <gasps> brownies. brownies. <laughs> I love brownies. Oh, my gosh. I could eat them every day. Brownies and pizza. But being in this business, they for some reason they want you to be in shape. I don't know. We wear little these spandex outfits, and uh, they don't want muffin tops, I guess. So how do you know what a muffin top is? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think most I'm people, growing one right now myself. Most people don't know what a muffin top is. Tell me how, how much do you eat brownies? How many? Once a week? Once a week. I. Honestly, that's the question everybody's going to Yeah, know. once a week, whenever, I mean, if, if they're there, if they're available, uh, I'll eat, I could eat them every day. I love brownies. Okay, uh, <laughs> favorite wrestler? Okay, growing up, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I remember being at my dad, my parents divorced when I was, at, when I was four, so real young. No big deal. Um, my my dad I would go to my dad's and he'd let me wear my Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts and my jeans to school and then I'd go home to my mom and she'd be like what are you wearing Tana no what are you wearing and she she dressed me in these floofy dresses with these poopy sleeves so I'm I'm a I was the um, a unique child because I was just like um, probably the best the best of both worlds because I'm this wrestling, I love football, and I'm this tomboy, I love sports. I was the fastest runner in my in my whole school in elementary. So, <laughs> and then at the same time, I love fashion. I love dressing up. I love being pretty. So you and were pulled in two directions. Yes. And whoever <laughs> had the strings so. that yeah. won that. Uh -huh. You exactly. mentioned to me yes. when we talked earlier that you had a mentor in the business. I want you to be sure and mention who that was. Oh, yeah. One of my mentors is Scott Hall, and then I also have Larry Spisco. Are both wonderful, wonderful people. Ton of, just full of knowledge and um, amazing people. They are. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. And, and surprisingly enough, I know that there has been some bad publicity out with Scott Hall, but uh, that's not true. When I talk to people that are actually around him mm -hmm. now, and I'm I'm so happy to hear people say that, mm -hmm. because that the truth needs to get out about mm -hmm. that too. I appreciate you saying that. It's important to get out. Um, good days and bad days, but he's doing, he's doing that. really well right That's now. It's really, really I'm good. Very, we're very happy for him. All right. Let's, uh, is there anything that you've regretted about being in the wrestling business at all? Do you, you like fashion and stuff? Has, has, has this completely taken over your life as a wrestler? Um, no, not completely, but sometimes it's like... Um, like on the weekend, like I love, like I feel like this this wrestling is life. I feel like uh, my life pretty much revolves around wrestling. But at the same time, I still, you know, I still have my friends. I still, I still do things outside of wrestling. Probably not as much as I should because wrestling keeps me freaking busy as heck. Um, but no, no, no regrets. I mean, I was. I was pretty much raised in this business, and um, I've done everything the right way. I've, I've earned every belt that I have, and um, I 
I feel like I have a good head on my shoulders and uh, yeah, that's good you yeah. completely sound grounded to me and it's been a pleasure talking to you I appreciate yeah, you yeah. sitting down with us and we need to do this again sometime pro wrestling extra dot com dot com and next time we'll do it with <laughs> Jason, so he doesn't have to bust in here. But all you know the time. what? He's so sassy. He like tries to steal my thunder. Well, get your get your. I spotlight. know. I'm like, mm, yeah, my a, turn. I want my no, he talks a lot though. All right, this is the <laughs> wrestling doctor Hallie from Pro Wrestling Extra. Thank you.